welcome back guys so this is section 4.1 of chapter number four in which we are going to discuss the boolean operations and expressions okay uh, so the question one here is that using boolean notation write an expression that is zero when only all of its variables a b c and d are zeros okay so um, we have to find out that when all the variables of the expression are zeros then the output of it will be zero so this expression is let me write here the one so which type of expression is that let me write it or uh, denote it with x and that expression as we can recall it that is the or expression or this addition operator okay so writing it with this one what we can do x is equal to the a plus b plus c plus d okay so writing here 0 1 0 0 we can see that only this b of it is 1 so it will give me 1 okay so if any of them is 1 the output of it will be x equal 1 so therefore all of them should be equal to what all of those should be equal to 0 to give me the output equal to 0 so that is the answer of my question 1 okay similarly <clears throat> for question number 2 here what is it asking me that write an expression that is a one when one or more of its variables are zero okay so here in previous question we have seen that if any of them is uh, one so output will be one okay so here it is asking that if the literals which we have are so those are a b c d and e so if any of them is what any of them is zero the output will be what the output should be one okay so what it can be so uh, writing it with or denoting it with this y so we can see that if that is a plus b plus c plus d plus e so here making any of them one will give me the output equal to one okay so suppose uh, if i want to make the inverse of it that if any of them is zero the output will be one so making it the complement will serve it okay so the answer of it uh, the question number two is this so let me check it first uh, so let me have here a equal to zero this is equal to one and this is one this is one and this is one and the complements of them here let me write their complements and i can see that all of them will be zeros while this one will become one so the output of it will be one plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero so it will ultimately give me what this will ultimately give me one okay so that is the answer of my question that the answer of it is a plus b plus c plus d plus e whole complement so that is the answer of part two here okay uh, let me now start question number three so write an expression that is zero when one or more of its variables a b c d are zeros okay so that is the question number three and here we have the literals a b c okay so i want to represent it with this z and i want to make the expression out of them that any if any one of them is zero it will give me zero so it is clearly the and operation okay so in and if any one of them is zero it will give me the zero and it will only be one if all of them are one okay so that would be a b c so that is the answer of part three here so uh, that is the answer of my question here question number four is we have to evaluate the following expression so that is the question number four so in part a of it we have zero plus zero plus zero plus zero so as all of them are zero so this would be zero okay in part b we have zero plus zero plus uh, zero plus one and that is equal to one because any of them is one and that is the or operation and according to the boolean operations or boolean arithmetic uh, what we have if any of the items in 
the OR operation is 1 that would be 1. Okay. So, in part C here as well we have all 4 equal to 1. Okay. So, this is like 4 switches and if uh, all of those are connected in parallel and all are basically short circuited the output will also be short circuited and that is 1 as well. Part D here is 1 dot 1 plus 0 dot 0 and plus 1. Okay. So, in order to uh, evaluate them what we have to do first of all we have to perform this dot operation. So, 1 dot 1 as both of them are 1. So, that is the AND operation basically. So, here we have 1. Okay. Similarly, here we have 0 dot 0. So, both of them are open or both are both of them are 0. So, I will have here 0 as well and that is 1 and ultimately from them we can uh, we can see that here we have these plus operators here. So, we can see that adding them together ultimately I will get here what the answer of it will be 1. Okay. So, that is the answer of part D. Okay. Uh, writing the uh, part E here we have 1 dot 0 dot 0 uh, sorry that is what that is not 0 and that is 1 dot 0. Okay. So, th this is the dot operation and uh, in according to the boolean operators if in dot operation any one of the operators is 0 what we will get? We will get 0. Okay. So, this is uh, the, here we have two zeros. So, therefore, the answer of it will be 0. Okay. In part f we have 1 dot 0 plus 1 dot 0 plus 0 dot 1 plus 0 dot 1. Okay. Now, evaluating them and these are all the dot operators here. So, this is a dot, this is dot, this is dot and this is dot. Let me first evaluate them and we will see that here we will get 0, this is 0, this is 0 and this is 0 as well because in dot operations is if any of the operator is 0 we will get 0. Okay. So, after dot operator we have to perform the this uh, plus operation here which is basically the OR operation. So, this plus is the OR operation where this dot is the AND operation. Okay. So, now we can see that all of the uh, operators here are 0. So, here we have the answer as 0. So, that is the answer of question number 4 and we have seen that how easy it is to evaluate different operators which are in the form of the boolean operators. So, thank you so much and I will see you with some more questions in our upcoming video. See you soon.